Hupp sits in jail charged with the murder of Betsy Faria, and the man who was convicted, then exonerated, is defending his name once again. Russ Faria spoke to the I-Team's Christine Byers after a former prosecutor claimed that the evidence pointed to him. Well, my initial reaction was anger. Russ Faria thought his name had been cleared in the murder of his wife, Betsy Faria. I just uh, was appalled at everything that she had to say, and uh, I've got to say that I never thought that anybody could lie as much as Pam Hupp. However, I think she proved, uh, proved me wrong on that one. Now, Faria is firing back after an interview given by former Lincoln County prosecutor Leah Cheney. Was it hard for you to listen to her and to read what she had to say? It is a little difficult because I know what really happened and I was there and, and she's just trying to turn things around to make it herself look good once again. In an exclusive with the I-Team, Cheney said she still believes Faria's prosecution was valid. She says her suspicion of Faria began with his 911 call reporting his wife's death after she'd been stabbed 55 times. I just got home from a friend's house. My wife killed herself. Clearly, from anyone's perspective, it did not look like a suicide. Cheney also said she didn't think Pam Hupp, who's now been charged with the murder, was physically capable of pulling it off. As I recall, she walked with a cane. The way she presented herself was very, very different from the person that you see now. Faria's lawyer, Joel Schwartz, disagrees. He says Hupp's ailments changed throughout the trial and that investigators had tunnel vision. And anything that didn't fit with her and the officer's theory of this case was simply ignored. Ultimately, Schwartz won Faria a new trial. A judge acquitted him, and he won a multi-million dollar settlement against Lincoln County. Why do you think they focused so heavily on Russ? It doesn't make sense. It's idiotic, it's stupid, and it cost Russ three and a half years of his life. Faria tried to sue Cheney for mishandling the case, but a judge threw it out, giving the prosecutor immunity. Which shouldn't even exist. You should be able to be punished for whatever you did if you did something wrong. For now, Faria is putting his faith in current Lincoln County Prosecutor Mike Wood. He's not just investigating how the original case was handled. Wood is prosecuting current suspect Pam Hupp. I know that uh, about two weeks ago I did speak with the lead investigator and he assured me and promised me that he's going to leave no stone unturned. Ten years after Betsy Faria's death, justice is long overdue. I would like to see them get to the bottom of Hopefully, if Pam Hupp is guilty and everything that I've ever seen shows that she is, I'd like to see her get her just desserts. For the I-Team, Christine Byers, five on your side. Leah Cheney told the I-Team she's cooperating with the current investigation, and you can find her interview along with point-by-point -point responses from Faria's legal team on KSDK.com. If you have a tip for the five on your side I-Team, call us at 314-444-5231 or email five on your side at KSDK.com. All calls and correspondence will be kept confidential.